Hey y'all, so today's video is going to be a like sporty makeup routine makeup look. I have no idea what I'm even gonna call this video, but obviously the title will be amazing. So um I play volleyball and I can't like go to school wearing a full face of makeup because it's just gonna sweat off during practice and that is not cute at all. So I normally wear very minimal makeup. I'm going to be showing y'all what I would normally wear. I wore this to camp and like it was just fine. I wore it to camp. I wore it to like sometimes to practice or whatever, okay? So this is just what I would wear if I'm in like a game or something because I hate being bare faced like this because then I look dead and I don't look presentable because afterwards maybe I want to take pictures or something. So that's not going to happen. And plus you want to make Snapchat. So of course your makeup has to be looking good. So I'm just going to be showing y'all what I would normally do. Most of these products are high end. I am so sorry. These are just the things that I find works best for me. And these are the only things that I have that I would trust enough to take like to wear. I guess to volleyball. And I know it won't move or anything like that. Um, also you can always substitute it with like a drugstore item. So I'm using like a cream blush type of thing. So you can always use like a drugstore cream blush or something. And I should and I will do an updated one as soon as I get like the right products and the products I think are good enough to make the cut. So um, I'll do a drugstore version later. Comment down below if y'all want to see that because I know everybody does not buy high-end makeup. So this is a long enough intro already, so let's go ahead and get so I'm starting by taking my Benefit Point Concealer that I use all the time and applying that to my under eye area and to any blemishes that I may have. Just so, not to everything though because I don't want to look like I have perfect skin. Then taking this Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and my Red Techniques Powder Brush. I'm going to be dusting this all over my face so that it absorbs all my oil but and it like helps me to stay matte for like a little bit longer. And it's so smooth on your skin. Then I'm going to take this Josie Moran um, basically cream blush in Poppy Paradise. And this Elf Small Stipple Brush. And I'm going to put the stipple brush into the cream blush because it's just amazing. And I'm going to be blending that out in circular motions and also with my fingers to add a nice light flush. Next I'm going to take this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and apply that to my brows. It literally is perfect for sports. It will keep them in place all day through all your games I promise. Next, I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in um, black. And I'm going to be applying this to my tie line and to my waterline just to help my eyes like be like the center of attention because that's what I like. And then I'm taking my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and applying that all over my eyelashes. Not too much, but not too little. And the last thing I'm going to take is an EOS lip balm. This is just the pink one. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. So that is basically it for this look. Okay, so that's basically it for the video. Now I look like a little bit more awake. I do not look completely dead. Like before, my under eye bags were horrible because of my eyes. Like I just took that away from them. So anyways, I'm super tired and I do not feel good. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and appreciated it. And let me know in the comments down below if it helped you, if you would try these products out. Um, and what products you think I should substitute them with if I do decide to do a drugstore version, I guess. So hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.